in and get you a pork chop sandwich. <laughs> Lady, I think it's a good time or a bad time to tell him I'm vegetarian. But I think uh -oh. I have to say it. There are lots of goodies, though, all in Mount Airy for sure. So I'm sure Miss Angel can set you up with a pie. Yeah, something. Yeah, I'll something take like it. that. Yes. <laughs> all right, we well, you know the Apple Festival is actually taking place this weekend, but that part, we would like to have drier skies. Good news is the track is shifting east, so that could help us out a little bit with that. See the moon, they are going down over Greensboro tonight. Now we are anticipating a lot of clouds in the forecast heading into tomorrow. Cool, breezy, rain moving in by late tomorrow, continuing kind of off and on on Saturday, drying out some on Sunday. We've got a cool 62 in Reedsville. We are 59 in Galax as well as North Wilkesboro, 63 in Lexington. Few clouds down east. We will see those clouds come into our area during the day tomorrow. I think with the clouds and especially with the breezes picking up out of the northeast, we're going to keep those temperatures in the 60s for most of the day tomorrow. So we've got that slight chance of rain as we head toward the dinner hour for the foothills and the mountains, a much drier forecast heading into the weekend, especially with this shift to the east in the track mild tomorrow with a high of about 71 in our foothill towns, and we should be into the mid to upper 60s tomorrow in the mountains. So 40 mile per hour winds with we'll call it 16 or an area of low pressure that does have tropical storm force winds, and it is drifting northward right now expected to work its way toward the North Carolina coast. Now the earlier track had it coming much farther to the west and inland. This one's shifting more to the east. That'll make a huge difference on who sees rain and how much wind we get. Right now potentially coming on land by about 8 a.m. on Saturday with 60 mile per hour winds. So we're still talking about some high winds as well as high surf and a lot of rain. Tropical storm warning in effect for the eastern part of North Carolina. Gust to 60 miles an hour. Some coastal flooding, street flooding, severe weather threat with isolated tornadoes and damaging winds as the main concerns, especially toward the Outer Banks and the Crystal Coast. Excessive rainfall also a concern could see several inches of rain, some two to maybe six inches of rain down east. Here's a wide view all the way to the coastline, kind of timing this out on Friday. You're going to see the rain kind of push westward by tomorrow afternoon to about Raleigh, and then it starts to push into at least the Piedmont Triad heading into Saturday morning, and then you're going to notice this thing kind of pulling away from us. The earlier track had it moving a little bit more west and right on top of the Triad with some heavy rains for Saturday, but with this kind of wobble to the east. If that happens, we'll see far less rain, and so your Saturday events may not be as impacted. Tomorrow, lots of clouds. There is tomorrow night about 10 o'clock, and then into early Saturday. There's still going to be some showers over the triad, and especially in the eastern part of the triad. Later in the day, we're going to see this sort of move away, and hopefully by evening, we'll start to shake some of this rain out of here. Rainfall totals half of an inch, maybe up to an inch, depending again on the track. We'll watch this real closely gusts to 35 miles an hour. The showers could hinder your outdoor events. Wind gusts are running at about 25 to 30 miles an hour. That is for tomorrow and then even into Friday. I should say Saturday. We'll see those wind gusts get up to maybe 30 miles an hour or so. So we'll of course keep you up to date over the next couple of days as we track this storm system heading our way. Drying out by Sunday. Temperatures warming up into the mid to upper 70s into early next week.